my gray hair journey started years ago, back when I had jet black hair. But I had started to show a few gray strands. But what I didn't know at the time was that that marked the beginning of liberation for me. So in my family, the women start to gray early and I was no exception. I had started to go gray in my mid to late thirties. There was no way I was giving in to graying in my thirties. Like, no. So I did what most women do, plucked and plucked and plucked. I had to. What, was I gonna show up to work with gray hair? <laughs> no, no. None of my friends had gray hair. <sighs> I didn't even have to look further than my own family. All of my aunts colored their hair or wore wigs. My mom colored her hair religiously. I remember my mom telling me one time, there's only one thing that will make me stop coloring my hair and let it go completely gray. It's if I become a grandmother. <laughs> Cue the pictures of my mom as a grandmother, please. Yeah, it, it didn't work out. My mother colored her hair until the end and when she couldn't color it anymore, she wore wigs. So there was my example. But as it goes, the more you pluck, the more the gray hairs come in. So it was this vicious cycle of plucking, more hair coming in, more plucking, more gray hair coming in. <sighs> it was tiring. So I just started dyeing it. Jet black was my go-to. Jet black, jet black, and more jet black. I loved my jet black hair, I'm not even gonna lie. I colored it and colored it and colored it. It was so easy. You go to the pharmacy, you, you buy a box, done. And when the budget allowed, I just go to a salon. So yeah, that's the way it was for a hot minute. I, I didn't feel comfortable not having my hair be black. I didn't want to show an, even a little tiny bit of gray. I wasn't feeling it back then. I also tied it a lot to the way that I looked and my age. How could I be 30 and like have gray hair? Like, no. So yeah, I was definitely caught up in the whole coloring thing for a while. But you know, coloring your hair black when you have gray hair coming in, it's annoying. You have this jet black hair and then within two weeks, just a little bit of white starts showing and then more white and then more white. Oh God, oh, the inconvenience of it all. The roots started getting really, really white and the black and the stark black against the white was just becoming too much. I was tired of coloring so often. And then I figured I would take a page from one of my friends' moms who was blonde, but not by choice. You see, her hair was already white, but she thought, well, if I just dye it blonde, the blonde blends in with the white, you know? I thought that was a good idea, so Enter, Enter my blonde, my blonde era. era. I love this era. I loved being blonde. I loved my blonde hair. It was nice. It looked good on me. People loved it. It was just so like, I don't know, I felt light, flirty even. Maybe I did have more fun. Anyway, the blonde, great era. I loved it. But, I encountered problems nonetheless. There was the cost, number one. Because, you know, blonde is not a color that I would just stroll into a pharmacy and then buy the colors, no. My hair was black, right? So to get from my black hair to platinum blonde, that required a professional. So yeah, I wasn't a pharmacy blonde. Definitely salon all the way. And I mean, not for nothing, but it looked good. But it costed me too but it did save me a little bit more time. 
I didn't have to go so often to the salon because, you know, the white and the, the grays were kind of blending in with the blonde. It worked. It worked for a while. But the damage though, ugh, the damage. It damaged my hair. Bleaching will damage your hair. Like, okay, like, like hair damage, but also like damage, right? So one day I just decided I'm gonna let the blonde grow out. I'm gonna accept the hair growing out of my head. It wasn't easy. There were awkward times with the gray hair, you know? I wasn't completely accepting of it at first because it was growing in weird patterns, you know? At one point I had like two gray patches to either side. There was like a Wolverine weirdness thing going on and I was just not having it. So um, that was when I was just doing pure head wraps. Again, and not a bad look, head wraps all day long. And then with time, the gray and the silver started growing in a pattern and in a way that I was more comfortable with displaying to the world. And so I did. I slowly started sporting my gray hair outside with nothing to hide. Good afternoon, everybody. Sylvie here outside and enjoying it. I'm just saying the grays, the, let's get the grays, the silvers, growing in nicely. I have to say, I'm loving it. Gray hair don't care. I felt better by then, you know? A lot of things happen when you're on the gray hair journey. You kind of go from denial to, okay, flirting with it to, uh, whatever. And I had finally come to the whatever phase. I was comfortable in my skin. It felt good. It felt good that I didn't have to worry about running to the pharmacy to buy a box of dye, running to the salon and having my hairdresser handle it. There's freedom there. I can just go out. And of course it kind of helped that for a hot minute, silver was like a trend. You saw it everywhere. All the youngins were doing it. But for me, the mark of real triumph was going to work, was going into a job with my gray hair, unabashedly free and unbothered. I finally felt a sense of freedom that I haven't felt in decades. And it felt good. Now, understand, if you wanna dye your hair until you're 80 years old, honey, go for yours. I encourage you to be comfortable in the skin you're in. It just happens that for me, I, I'm good. I'm good with my hair. I love my hair. I love the color. In fact, I've got quite a bit of pepper still, but if you look over here, right? Like this part here, this white part, I am waiting for my entire head to be this part. Like, can we just get into this? Get into this white. When my hair is all of that, oh, I can't wait. But until then, you know, I'm doing the salt and pepper thing and I'm comfortable with it. I love it. And in fact, I have a lot of people coming up to me and complimenting me on my hair. It's a very interesting phenomenon. The thing that I was so nervous about, the thing that I had anxiety about is the thing that people find most intriguing about me now. Isn't it funny how life works? Yeah. My gray hair. Took some time for the acceptance, you know. But I'm here. And I love it. And here's hoping that if you're on your gray hair journey, 
you find a sense of liberation, empowerment, pride, unapologetic, free, and happy. Cheers.